doors behind me to enjoy thousands of events. Concerts from bluegrass to classical, Broadway shows and opera, movies and Wurlitzer or organ performances, and much, much more. With this refurbishment complete, we are assured that the, the sign and the marquee will shine brightly above Gay Street for many more years. So I'd like to thank some people and some groups who provided significant support to this project. And if you would, please hold your applause until I've recognized everyone. First of all, Patterson Sign Group. They eagerly undertook the work with pride and precision. They performed the work for us at cost, and they also made a generous cash donation to the theater. The city of Knoxville, through the Historic Preservation Fund, provided $65,000 for the marquee itself. Scripps Network Interactive also made a very significant donation. We had a total of 13 generous donors who made gifts specifically to the project, and we recognize those people as official sponsors of the letters spelling out Tennessee in the vertical sign and behind me in the marquee as well as the medallions on the side. And last but not least, we have had hundreds of people make donations of $25, $50, $100, and more to symbolically help us pay for all of these light bulbs, more than 5,000 new LED lights. All told, these combined efforts have raised about $138,000 toward the total cost of $156,000. So let's give all of these folks a big round of applause. Okay, a few more people to thank. I want to thank all of the theater staff, but especially technical director Tim Burns and facilities manager David Ringley for their involvement in the project. I also want to thank Lila Honaker, who's right over there, for coordinating this wonderful event and the entire fundraising campaign. And lastly, I want to thank the Tennessee Theater Board of Directors and members of our facilities committee. Um, if you're here and you're a board member, I can't see you very well with the lights in my face, but if you're here, um, please raise your hand or wave. Um, I'm so fortunate to work with all these people, and I want to thank all the staff and the board members. So now it's my esteemed pleasure to welcome and introduce Knoxville Mayor Madeline Rojero. Good evening, and thank you, Becky. You do a great job in your role. We appreciate you. I, I want to start by recognizing the elected officials who are here and uh, there may be some here, but the only one who I have seen uh, so far is Carson Daly. Where did you go, Carson? He will officially be a county commissioner tomorrow when he was when he is sworn in. So we appreciate Carson and his wife being here this evening. I also want to recognize Bill Lyons, who is my deputy to the mayor and chief policy officer for the city, and also Rick Emmett, who is our downtown coordinator, and Becky Wade, our director of community development oversees, among many things, uh, the Historic Preservation Fund. So we certainly missed this big old sign over the last three months while it was down and being carefully repaired. You know, something special was missing from Gay Street. Something was just not right as you walked down the sidewalk. Something was unsettled in our energy field and the force of downtown. But thank goodness it is back up and better than ever. We'll see that in just a minute. The city of Knoxville was pleased to be a partner in this refurbishment, uh, as was mentioned, by awarding an historic preservation grant of $65,000. Now, the Tennessee Theater sign and marquee have represented our city very well over the years. In major motion pictures like October Sky, in local and regional advertising, and in countless wedding and engagement albums and family photographs. We can all rest easy knowing that this historic sign and marquee will continue to invite us in and draw us in to experience outstanding performances and other uh, opportunities for civic engagement here in this wonderful theater. This vertical sign and marquee will continue to shine upon us for many years to come. 
but they will shine even brighter and with greater energy efficiency. So in honor of this historic venue, I would like to present the Tennessee Theater with a proclamation honoring this official relighting. Becky, would you please join me?
approximately 2,400 light bulbs were replaced and upgraded, cosmetic damage was repaired, and the marquee was repainted, and we also uh, replaced the electronic message boards. LED technology has made tremendous advances in the last 11 years. Uh, when we flip the switch tonight, I think you will find that the sign and marquee have never shined brighter. Thank you once again for being here with us this evening. We were honored to be a part of this unique and rewarding project, and we're pleased to unveil the hard work of the Patterson team. Now I'd like to introduce to you John Craig, the Vice President of the Historic Tennessee Theater Foundation. Thank you, Becky. The Historic Tennessee Theater Foundation was created 20 years ago when Mr. Jim Dick donated this theater he had saved from the wrecking ball to a newly formed nonprofit foundation. That foundation's mission is to preserve, maintain, and operate the official State Theater of Tennessee for the benefit and enjoyment of all. Through the leadership of the Foundation's board, Becky and the Foundation staff, together with our management partner, AC Entertainment, the Tennessee Theater serves as a cornerstone in a vibrant and thriving downtown and a standard bearer throughout the region for presenting outstanding entertainment. The board is committed to maintaining this treasured landmark for future generations. I want to thank everyone here who purchases tickets makes donations, is a member of our Friends of the Tennessee program, volunteers, or supports the theaters in other ways. You are the ones who keep the theater on a solid foundation. The refurbishment of the marquee and vertical sign that we celebrate tonight is a great example of the community coming together to take care of their theater, the Regents Theater, and the State Theater of Tennessee. Thanks to each and every one of you who participated in this effort. Thank you. talking. Guess what? We're going to do this. All right. So I want to invite uh, one special person up here to the, to the stage. Um, early this year, we auctioned off at a fundraiser the opportunity to flip the switch to light up the marquee. So Brian Thomas was that winning bidder. And I'd like to invite Brian up. I'd also like uh, Mayor Rivera and any other elected officials to come on up. Uh, any Patterson Design Group employees, just, we're just going to gather here around the podium here. And any Tennessee Theater board members and uh, facilities committee members, please make your way quickly up here to the stage. Ah! 